Hey Internet peoples, it's Will here. I'm going to do a little follow-up video on my uh, Xbox Live connection problem video. Um, the reason I'm doing a follow-up is to clarify some things about your um, Xbox IP address and the ports that you forward to it. Um, you need to make sure that your Xbox keeps its same IP address so that the ports that you forward to it will stay forwarded to the right IP address. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the best way to do it is through the DHCP reservations, which was in that other video. Um, that's the ideal way to do it, um, but I'm going to show you how to manually do it in the Xbox menu if you don't have that option inside of your router. Okay, Internet peoples, what I'm going to show you how to do is to manually configure your Xbox Live um, Internet connection so that your router um, will not change its IP address. So those ports that um, you forward in my other video will stay forwarded to the proper IP address. You can do this through the DHCP reservations in the router like I showed you on the other video, but if you don't have that option, you can do it manually in the Xbox and force the Xbox to give you what you want as an IP address. First thing you do is just go into your, your, your uh, quick pop-up menu here, go to settings, and then go to system settings, go to network settings, and then go to configure network. And right now, your Xbox should be on automatic, which means it's going to just accept whatever IP address the router gives it. But what we want to do is we want to record all these numbers here. You see it says automatic, it says um, has my IP address, and then it has the subnet mask, and then the gateway. You're going to record all those numbers, and then click, uh, click that, you hit A, and then go to manual. And then you can re-enter all those values right here. So you, you can just click on the IP address, re-enter the IP address, click subnet mask, re-enter the subnet mask, and default gateway. And this seems kind of dumb, but what it does is it, it doesn't give the router an option to give you a different IP address. It, it will only let you have that IP address. Um, so that is the um, advantage of that. Um, so if you want uh, to ensure that your ports are going to be forwarded to the proper IP address, you can do it this way or through the DHCP, DHCP reservations in the Linksys menu.